It is federal budget day, a week away from provincial budget day here in Nova Scotia. And although the two are uh, created quite separately, they are very much intertwined. About 30 or so percent of the provincial revenues uh, in this province come from Ottawa in the way of transfer payments. Even though the public may not know a lot about what's coming today from Ottawa or next week from the provincial government, the provincial government certainly knows what's coming from Ottawa. They cannot build their budget without knowing how much money they have coming and what they can count on for various programs and services. And, you know, one thing that's a bit unique this year, I find, is that we haven't had any traditional teasing of things in the provincial budget that we have in years past, other than perhaps acknowledging the fact that this year's budget will be where the rollout begins for spending on the healthcare redevelopment projects at the QE2 here in Halifax, and then also up in CBRM with facilities there. And the continued rollout of pre-primary, which is going to cost uh, a sizable chunk. I would expect you'll see a steady as she goes budget uh, provincially, rather than the whatever spending is gonna come from Ottawa today. Here in Nova Scotia, we're inching our way towards the halfway point in the uh, McNeil mandate, his second majority mandate. So uh, there really is no need to ramp up the spending uh, to essentially uh, buy votes. <laughs> That's right, and so we know the budget will be balanced, but because of those demands for health care, they don't have a lot of wiggle room potentially to do new projects. Regardless, we'll be back next week to talk about what's in the provincial budget, except a day later on Wednesday, once we've had some time to digest the numbers and bring them to you.